Hey now, Taurus, I am doing fixed sign readings of which you are one. Uh, with the movement of Pluto right now, you might be feeling a bit challenged because you like to, you know, uh, you like things to remain at a baseline, right? Not to change so drastically. And, uh, you know, Pluto is all about bringing up all of this stuff and rearranging, okay? Uh, it's about a level up, just so you know. So... Um, whatever you're experiencing right now, please understand that uh, it is, it's happening for you, okay? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Let's get into this reading. Um, you guys have gone through a period of complete regeneration here, okay? I don't know whether it was due to an illness, circumstance, or some of you I feel like were just bored and things need to change, okay? Uh, and you're in a period of growth with this right now. You're trying to gain clarity. You're trying to understand why is this happening? Some of you I actually hear are saying, why is this happening to me? Like I've done all this good stuff. Why, why do I feel this way? I should be, I should have peace. I should have, I should be happy. Look at all I have. Okay. Look at, look at all these beautiful people around me. And spirit wants you to understand that this is internal. Okay. You're in a growth phase here. Um, some of you could be looking back on the past. This is in the hidden position here, so what you don't see. Some of you could be looking back on the past here, okay? And for some of you, this is bringing up pain. Some of you, this is, you know, good times, all that kind of stuff. But you're trying to see where all this fits now, okay? It's like you've got all this stuff, you know, like kind of fractured around. And you're trying to pull this all together to grow forward, Okay, um, I've got the Hierophant coming up in reverse. I feel like some of you might be looking at, you know, significant baseline, I'm going to use that word again, tradition, mindset. Um, this could, this come, brings me into like kind of a religious air. And I feel like you're kind of freeing yourself from some of the stubborn qualities of this, some of the more harsh qualities of things, okay? Um, I do see you really wanting balance. And I'm going to tell you, in order to get that spiritual and financial balance, okay, what you need to understand is you need to do the inner work, all right? Like, you need to um, unplug and spend some time alone and be still or whatever that looks like. Maybe it's a walk, a run, whatever. And clear your head is really what I'm hearing. We're going to ask. I'm going to get another deck for this. We'll get some clarification. I feel like this is really has to do with a lot of internal stuff. It could have been precipitated by something external. But um, I feel like, you know, it's like you're in this monkey brain mind war right now between your heart and your and your brain. Okay. Yeah, I also have a Six of Cups. Some of you are looking back in the past. You're guarding against the future here. Okay? You got your guard up. I'm not ready for the future yet. And you are gaining balance here in relationships, in the heart space, by go ahead and by, by reliving some things. Okay? Um, Spirit wants you to know that one of the the best things that you can do while you're doing this is to remember the skill sets that you used, see the blessings, gather the positives from the past and bring them forward. All right. Um, always with this card, the, you know, the, uh, the non sequitur or the addendum, I should say, is to not use rose colored glasses, right? To be really clear about what the reality of um, these situations and these energies are okay let's ask some questions here what can you give me on oh thank you <laughs> when i asked about the hierophant in reverse i've got the ten of pentacles coming out wow all right as you go through this as you get rid of that rigidity as you open a little bit more this is going to bring in this this close of a cycle here both, I really feel it's a spiritual aspect, which I mean like doing that inner work. But I feel like um, you're going to start feeling more like yourself here for us. Okay? When I ask about the Six of Pentacles, please, for Taurus. Yeah. This was about you learning how to self-regulate. 
okay? Every single time we are challenged by something and we learn how to, how to uh, deal with it in a healthy way, we grow skill sets, we grow strength, okay? It's about self-regulation, taking accountability for your decisions, your actions, right? Your inactions. Hold on, I've got a card that flew here. Let's go pick it up. Wow. <laughs> Some of you, I've got this Empress card coming in from the past here. This is really interesting. Some of you might be looking back on a particular situation. Um, the Empress is about birthing new worlds. So it could have been a project. It could have been a person. It could have been an event, something that really made your heart sing here. Okay. And you know, my, the, I'm being guided to tell you to like bring that energy forward, right? Even if it came from another, from outside of you, if you felt it, if you've experienced that, you can bring it into your world. And that's what spirit is telling you to do. All right. It's like taking all of the best things and deciding to move forward with that stuff here. I do see you coming into a place here where you are going to feel very satisfied not only with yourself, but it's going to give you like another level of, of seeing the beauty around you, seeing the abundance around you. Okay. Um, I am also getting, we've got this queen of cups coming up in reverse and a lot of the fixed signs have a tendency to get, um, especially, you know, you're an earth sign. How do I want to say this? Um, I'll, to 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 have like there's like an ego ism right and this is the reminder to come from that heart space and it's coming up in the divine feminine to remind you to be self-nurturing here okay i'm going to ask one more on that queen of cups to get a little more clarification some of you could have had an issue with somebody that you thought was the queen of cups right uh, a person and it doesn't you know the gender is non-withstanding it doesn't it translates whatever gender that is somebody that you felt was like the yang to your ying basically right and um that's why it came up in the reverse and this is what really made you start to inquire started to regenerate because what you saw wasn't um what you saw about yourself or that situation or person was not what you expected and it kind of threw you out of your heart space, okay? Your karma card, Taurus. An unusual example of a different way of looking at an unexpected change, and this is in Uranus. Uh, check out the description box. The intro to astrology download is gonna give you all the information you need, a reputable link to get your natal chart. Uh, and all the definitions, I would definitely see what house this is in for you. There's 12 houses. They all represent something in particular, um, 12 aspects of our lives. So if you have, I have a feeling you might have Uranus in your chart and you want to see where that's located. Okay. This is about mindset, which is what I've been talking about, getting that clarity. Um, and you know, they're calling out an unexpected change here. Okay. I've got your vision. What's different, new and different about? Use an unconventional way. And isn't it interesting that this comes up in Aquarius? Okay? With the astrology that's going on right now, it's also, it's an air sign. This is about the winds of change here. Aquarius is the water bearer. It's about really strong traditions, but it's also about innovation. Okay? It's another fixed sign showing up for you. Your vision, what's new and different, right? Use an unconventional way, okay? And that's what I see you guys doing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull another deck here. Uh, I mentioned too, uh, on most of my videos, if, uh, if you guys are having issues with clearing out, like creating sacred spaces, clearing out, energies that are not serving serving you, identifying which energies are yours or not. There's a guided meditation in the playlist. Uh, please help yourself. It's free with no ads. It's 52 minutes. Make sure you participate and have the time for the whole 52 minutes because there's an opening and a closing. 
uh, you know, after the work. So, um, and it's important that you not be interrupted. Yeah, here we go. I've got the thinker coming out. This is exactly what I see you doing. I see you strategizing. I see you reaching. I see you trying to say, okay, is this sustainable right now? Or can I build some blocks here and then that'll be sustainable? Taurus, the voice of the heart. I silence the fear in me and discover the voice of my heart. The fruit of these words guides me. I trust the song of my soul. My in intuition leads me on the path of light. Okay, this is... Um, We've got heart chakra is the green. We've got the blue of the throat chakra. Some of you need to speak your truth. And it starts with coming from that compassionate heart space. Um, you might be ignoring, you know, your own truths right now. Okay. You are being supported here. Okay. Vitality. I am a being of light. I accept the divine energy in my body and every one of my cells regenerates. Okay. Heart space green. The yellow is the solar plexus. That is confidence. We've got the red of the root, the orange of the sacral here. Okay. Mind, body, spirit coming together to revitalize, regenerate, which is what we started off with in this. I'm going to ask for a couple more cards here. I just need to sit for just a minute here. Yeah, I feel like somebody out there has had to cut someone or something out of their life. And um, I feel like you were really concerned about this person, how it was going to affect this person. And um, or you witnessed somebody doing something like that in a not so great way. Somebody could have lost a job, like, and they tried to take their severance pay, like they're refusing to pay them a pension, you know, something like that, that, and, and what happened was, is it hurt you and then you got angry and then you decided, okay, right, um, I'm going to take this energy and I'm going to turn it into something good. Um, yeah, I mean, there's enough going on in the world right now, like pick a topic and it can inspire you, right? I've got self-love coming out for you and I have integration. So I feel like, you know, a lot of what was happening for you guys for the last couple of years was about integrating that heart space, about not giving too much of yourselves and forgetting yourself. You know, um, you were like kind of like giving so much to others that it was, you felt kind of hollow, right? Uh, and when things were coming in, they weren't authentic because you weren't like opening to it, Right. And I feel like you've gone through that whole season and now you're standing on all of those lessons and all of that knowledge. And here you are like ready to go out in the world with this, okay? With the Empress, right? And you've integrated or you're in the process of completing the cycle of integrating that heart space. This was for your benefit. This was so you could be happy. Remember, I think I mentioned at the beginning of this reading, like somebody was just like bored, right? And there's so many things in this world. There's no reason to ever be bored. And I think it was kind of like you just had a shutdown in like the heart space. Okay, you forgot like what makes me happy? What am I passionate about? There's what can I go try that's new that might be fun? Okay, Hey, take good care of yourselves, take good care of each other, and as always, be kind out there.